Hey guys, okay. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Been lucky enough to, Sony have loaned me one of the new HX99 point and shoot cameras, okay? Now I was thinking like I could do like a, an unboxing or something like that, but that's not me. So what I thought I'd do is stitch myself up and try, try and daily vlog from the Tura Tazi. Yep, there we go, I've just said it. This is gonna be different. Okay, because, right, so this, this is a little point and shoot thing. It's still super capable and all the rest of it. And I'm going to try and do everything that you see, like from the daily vlogs on this camera. And it will be me. It will be very much like diary style thing. But I think the key point is I'm going to try and get a daily vlog out from the Tura Tazi. <sighs> Why have I just said that? I think the way this now gets edited is everything from now, I'm on the AX6500 now, everything from the moment I do th this, we'll do it again, will be on that camera and it will be the daily vlog from Tassie. Right. Cue the daily vlog from Tassie. Let's get this daily vlog underway, shall we? Yeah, so I'm at the airport. Meaning, yes, I am flying to Tasmania, along with our entire team. This year we've decided to fly. This is another part of the whole NRS logistics chat, right? So, and what does that mean? Well, individually for each guy, that means they pay their own flights. I'm going to gate 38, which is that way. They all pay their own flights, okay? So, the team doesn't cover that. That is just their own responsibility. I give the guys enough warning that we are going to be flying. So, you know, a lot of these guys are students or, you know, working part-time jobs. They need to be able to afford it and pay for it. We'll help them out a little bit when we can, but nine times out of 10 guys, they just pay for it themselves and just get it done. So yeah, flights. Flights mean, well, we've got to bring our bikes with us. Um, so you know how usually guys, we have like heaps of trainers and spares and all that kind of stuff. We just don't take it. We just don't take it to this event. You just can't. Um, some teams, what they do is they go across on the boat. We don't do it anymore. It's just a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. So all our guys fly, and we just carry as much as we can on the flight. He's in the team. Are you racing the Tour of Tasmania today? Yes. Who else yeah. is racing the Tour of Tasmania? Chris, Angus, Ben. That guy. Abel. What? Yes. Oh. oh. Hmm. That guy. Just checking. He, he put a post up on Instagram last night. People, or this morning. So get on board. Uh, Angus's Instagram page is only uh, photos of him doing a criterium in Sydney. So in the next week, so not, you'll not see not Sydney, but North Sydney. Uh, it's at Hart. Shout Sydney out! Hart. Shout out to QF Mojo for all the photos and for and Blake Gilmer. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. Who's over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's Robert. 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 Are you racing the Tour of Tasmania? I am not racing the Tour of Tasmania. Very. Good. What are you doing? Filming a vlog. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your Instagram story man right there. Be prepared for some creative lettering. He was telling me about it last night. <laughs> it's going to blow your mind. And who else are we missing? We are missing the man. The man who's going to double his kilom his weekly kilometers by doing the tour of Tasmania. Alex Abel will be joining us later on. Good man. Home tour, Benny. The locals be out today, do you think? There'll be signs yeah. on the road? Yeah, far out's the biggest day for the system of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Someone painted Go Ben on the... I hope so. 
Yeah, I, hope so. I would have thought so. Yeah. So there's our two vehicles for the weekend, or for the week. Well, our beautiful uh, dad's wet dream Kia Carnival and a Hilux van. Which why do white Hilux vans always look like murder vans? These are the questions the daily vlog will. At 19 degrees today, kids. It's about 19 degrees. It's not raining. It's a beautiful day. Uh, that is the Tamar River, just there. You may have uh, heard of the Tamar. It's uh, on a yogurt, I believe. So what is today? What is today? It is a prologue. It's a 650 meter prologue up a bike path. My cynical face would be it's a reason to get us down a day early to spend a bit more money. Uh, my not cynical face is it's a great opportunity for cycling to just be a little bit more promoted in a main town. We are in a really good position here in Launceston, just ride out and do it, take you along with us. As I said, this is just, um, you know, you know what this is going to be now, right? So, we'll get some lacquer on, hey? Mark, Mark Bascombe, Louise Bascombe, <laughs> they're here as well. How's Sammy going to go? Oh, look. Not going to podium, not no. coming home. Nah, nah. <laughs> if that's he doesn't podium. That's what the chat is. That's father and son there. That's don't bother coming home unless you're on the podium. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, no harsh pressure. but fair. Tough love. I like it. <laughs> Who do you actually think might win this, Mark? Um, well, based on what you told me, Chris, uh, mountain bikers normally win this, don't they? So yep. you'd have to think Cam Ivory after his performance on Sundays, obviously flying. So. My money be on him. Hot favourite, I reckon. Cam Ivory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Agreed. Maybe Tristan. Yeah, Tristan. yeah, let's give it to Tristan. I hate this. <laughs> I really hate this. Would you hate the taste of one? Oh. Would you hate this more, hate this more <laughs> than Bore Bore? Yeah, no. Wait. Bore Bore was awesome. <laughs> I'm actually... Like, seriously. I'm not looking forward to this because I just don't know what to expect. So I will get blood in my mouth. I will go ultraviolet and I will finish 66. <laughs> like that is just, I can't go faster. Do you than go that. wide on the turns or on the corner? I just go slowly, seemingly, compared to everyone else. Got like um, we, uh, the other thing we're going to talk about as this goes on is we're not racing as a team this week. We're racing against each other every single stage. This is nothing to do with team tactics. It's just every man for himself. A bit like the rest of the year. Yeah, because the big the big trick here is the yellow jersey. We have been voting on it all year, and currently he has borderline unassailable lead. But we think we can if we work together, actually as a unit, Sam, it's Ben, and me, it's we can top all year. Chris is very quickly forgetting who assembled his bike, and it did take forty five minutes because he has a slop bike bag. All oh, right, let's go to his pro. Yeah, he can best. So this will be interesting. I'm running C40s and Victoria courses. Howdy, lads. Christopher Miller. It's me. 7280. There you go. 7280. The head unit on. What are most of them coming in at? Uh, 7 plus. Yeah. 7 1, 7 2. 7 yeah. 1, 7 2. Yeah. With lightweight wheels, it was 6.3. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's yeah. That's like a so red rat to a bull. Yeah, focus with lightweights. That's going to be on. I reckon the Cannondales as well, the Super 6 e -bos. So they're going to let us do a lap. So this is rollout. We are away. We are on the route. We are rolling up. And as you can see, it goes straight uphill. So you're probably almost starting in the little ring. Yeah, just about. Watch this. Yeah. So little ring start. And I'm already grinding here, so I think the trick with this and the, the thing that the guys do so quickly and so well in mountain bikers is just accelerate in and out of these corners. I just don't have that skill. But you can see going up there, right? So you know, if you get stuck on the inside of these corners, you almost just ground to a halt. So you want to run around the outside kick around them super fast. I'm struggling to ride this with one hand, so 
have to put this away, but that seems to be the, the trick. Last corner, don't go inside it. You will basically ground to a halt. 60 meter sprint to the finish. Before I'm just gonna go get a coffee and then go do this, just quickly before we do, I just wanna quickly say to you, I hate this. And this is why I hate this, right? So um, Junior and I were just talking there. So my best power last year, I did my best ever two minute power and I came like 80th. So pretty much dead last. I will hopefully do my best power again today and I will probably come last. To give you an example of this, the current standings would see both of us having done the time that we did last year, we would be currently sitting last out of nine. We'd be ninth out of nine. Yeah. And uh, did you soft pedal this last year? No. <laughs> You're no, speaking you, a bit too early, oh yeah, Chris. Oh yeah. You're gonna wait until wait yeah. until we actually okay. get through this. Because it's not last year. It's not. It's not. We've got counter bail. That's what's gonna get us up this. You've got to get yourself a positive attitude. I know. It's so negative. Alright, let's do this. Oh man. Oh, oh so bad. <laughs> They certainly do. 150, 151, 45. Two big gear, Chris. 145. Who's going to win, Mark? Who's going to win? Yeah. Uh, One say, of these boys? I'd say Cameron Ivey, Tristan Ward, and Ryan Standing. That is so cliche. <laughs> Give us something else. Uh, I think in the under 21 category, that's going to be very hard to beat the young boy, uh, the ex uh, South African, John Pierre Demur. Did you go in, Bacata? Could have been better, could have been worse. How'd you go? Uh, better than last year. How are you looking for the week? Oh, see how the legs are. Had a bit of time off, so. You doing your HSC while good. you're here? Sorry? Someone, Sammy said you might have been doing your HSC while you were here. Yeah, I did my physics exam three hours ago. Oh, well. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good All right, people up. complaining about things. Just getting it done, eh? Hey? <laughs> some water. Yeah, Let him do <laughs> Oh, I've got a shit tip. I got about three quarters of the way up, and someone goes, Go, Ben! Yes, that's it. Seriously? Oh, you My fucking team. Slow. Actually, I didn't look at it that way. I really should have looked at it that way. I'd be offended if I was yeah. Ben. <laughs> oh, well, did I win the yellow jersey? Yeah. Yes! Yes, you it's did. All that matters, all that matters. <laughs> So I was just going to say on the right back there, you know, can tell you're a uh, tazzy fit at the moment because I can see your spinal bones oh, right. through your skin suit. Have a look. There we go. Animal in the back. That's that's tazzy fit right there. Oh, so predictable. Wow. Cam Ivory, Tristan Ward. Ryan Standish. Raph J Vine fourth. Give me something to work with. Oh, do, do you want How was your day? How was your day? Come on. Yeah, it was good. It was over before it started, really. But tomorrow will be a tough one. What's the plan this evening? What jobs have you got, mate? Um, Robbie and I are on nutrition. We'll have to fill up bottles and put powder in them. And then Angus and Alex are on dinner. What's for dinner, boys? Making a banana bread for tomorrow's nutrition. We'll we will see you tomorrow yes. for day two of the tour of Tasmania, featuring these people, featuring his Instagram story and other assorted. I did want to say that. Sorry. Yeah, keep talking. Sorry. Just yeah, give me two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Um. So comment below because I want to know like what you guys want to see from this daily vlog so ask us questions like how much does Angus weigh like how many K's does Alex really do uh, these sort of things like we will answer them like this is a bit of a chat because I'm going to try and get these out pretty quickly so far as questions comment below whether this was a waste of time you hated it you liked it I know Robbie <laughs>
All right, we'll see you.